Hey guys, it's Dan here. And uh, today I'm not going to be doing a cooking video for you. I'm going to assemble my new Z grills. It's a uh, pellet grill. Um, it's the 450A model, which means it has 450 square inches of cooking surface. Uh, but they count both grates for that, so I know it's going to be a little bit less. Um, it's the smallest one they make. I bought it for uh, $180 at the local farm store because uh, I really wasn't in the mood or even shopping for a pellet grill, but I was there getting uh, food for the uh, chickens that I have. And for 180 bucks, I figure I'd give it a try, add it to the cooking arsenal and everything. Um, I got an idea what I'm wanting to do with this. I think I have a use for it. Um, it's definitely not going to replace my offset that I have here. Uh, that thing's close to 20 years old, couple coats of paint on it keep it halfway decent but you know i've never owned a pellet grill really wasn't in the market for one but we're going to assemble this we're going to do a burn in um probably do my first cook and uh i'll tell you guys what i think of the z grill hey guys i got this all assembled and everything and she is looking pretty um, the lower grade I looked it up online just a few minutes ago and uh, even though this is supposed to have uh, 450 square inches of cooking surface since I really won't be using the top grade a whole lot uh, it's only going to give me 320 I think or 330 is what the website said that's going to be plenty for what I'm planning on using this for it is tiny this thing the cooking area is about the same size as my firebox on my offset maybe just a tiny bit bigger but i'm excited to get this going um, we're going to do the burn here in just a few minutes do everything i read the instruction uh pamphlet um, i will tell you this it took me about an hour to assemble this but that's because i kind of lose dexterity in my hands when it's real cold out and the sun isn't fully up yet so uh, it was still in the 20s when i started assembling this um, the average person could probably do this in 45 minutes by themselves. If you had two people, which would make it a lot easier, you could do it in under 30 minutes. I guarantee it. Um, I will tell you this. I really like this front shelf, how it holds down, because where I'm planning on putting this, I'm going to be a little bit limited with storage. Uh, I like the adjustable cap here. It has a little bit of a side shelf. You can set something on there, not a whole lot. Um, the hopper, it's a 15 pound hopper. Uh, I'm hoping that'll be enough. We'll get it figured out. Uh, I'm gonna start playing with it. I've gotta do the burn off here in just a second. I will show you that. Um, I will tell you this, something I learned the hard way. If you go by this sheet that's in the top of the box, it says simple instructions or simple installation instructions or whatever, they're horrible. I was actually going to call them and tell them to fire the guy that writes their instructions. Then I opened up the owner's manual and they've got very good assembly instructions in the owner's manual. So go ahead and throw this sheet of paper away, open your owner's manual. Um, I've already read how to do my initial setup and startup. So let me get this plugged in and I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll see what this little thing can do. And isn't it cute? I mean, it's just a little baby grill. All right, guys. Uh, I already moved this tag over. I saw it was in the off position. So uh, what I did is I plugged it into my extension cord. So now, according to the instructions, I'm going to turn this to the on position. We had the flash. And I'm going to turn it to smoke. And I can already hear the fan running. It told me to put my hand over the fan. But now i got to see if the auger's running. All right. I fill the fan, and that's what it told me to do. It said to, uh, for the striker, it might take two minutes to fill the heat. I am staring at this auger. I can tell you the striker's working because there's smoke coming out, or 
whatever they call that thing, the thing that ignites you, your pellets. All right, I see a little mark on the auger, so I'm gonna give it a minute or two, see if that uh, moves or anything. Okay, I can feel heat coming out of there. I can hear the fan and feel the fan. Uh, let me see if I can move this over to the auger. The auger is turning. So now what I've got to do is fill the hopper up with pellets and I got to load it. But before I can do that, I got to run this to its 10 minute cool down according to the instructions. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned earlier in my video. Uh, this thing came with its own cover, which I thought was very nice. They actually sent gloves. They're not grill gloves, but for assembly, so you don't get your hands dirty or whatnot assembling it. I didn't use them. They're still in the package. Um, it came with its own screwdriver and came with its own uh, uh, wrenches. Let me turn this to cool down so I can get the cool down going. Uh, this is a real nice setup. I'm actually impressed for $180, Z-Grills, you guys did a real good job so far. I have not cooked on it or anything, um, but I'm, as soon as the cool down's over, I'm going to fill up the hopper, and then I've got to run it um, till I see uh, uh, pellets coming through. And then once I see pellets coming through, i got to do a 10-minute cool down again. Uh, so this is going to take a little while, but I'll see you all here in just a few. All right, I uh, filled the hopper up most of the way. I mean, it's not plumb full, but close enough for what I'm doing right now. Um, I went ahead and started the grill back up. Um, then I turned it up to the high temperature, which is 450 on this grill. And supposedly it's going to start feeding pellets. And as soon as I see the pellets come to the end, then I have to run through another 10 minute cool down. Um, it has all kinds of safety stickers, instructions, stuff like that. Um, up on the lid the, Like I said, I'm impressed so far and I haven't even cooked on it yet um, I do know that by the time I get done with everything I'm probably going to have two hours invested before I ever get to cook anything probably more than two hours um, But with that being said, I'm still excited. I Don't know how long it's going to take for these pellets to go through I probably put more than I should have because the pellets I'm using today is a Bear Mountain 100% uh, natural wood pellets. It's their gourmet blend. It's uh, what the farm store had when I stopped by there. It's the brand they had laying there. Um, is a Bear Mountain. I don't know if that's a good brand, bad brand. I really couldn't tell you. Um, I'm new to this. Any of you guys that own pellet grills, tell me if this is a good brand uh, I only bought two bags of it because I wasn't sure uh, leave comments I, I can learn from you guys but let's see how long this takes all right I don't know if you guys can see that or not um, but the first pellets are just now starting to drop in it only took about five minutes um, the instructions said it would take up to ten so that's a pleasant surprise. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it back to the cool down. Or shutdown cycle is what they call it. Alright, I got it on the shutdown cycle. I'm going to start putting everything back together. Put the heat deflector in, the grease tray, uh, the racks and stuff. And then as soon as the cool down shuts off, I'm going to fire this up and we're going to run it for 45 minutes. All right, it's already ran through its 10 minute cool down from getting the uh, pellets through the auger. So according to the instructions now, I turn it back on, it flashed, I turn it to smoke cycle, I heard the fan kick on, and then I wait with the lid open and I don't know if you can see that or not but I do have the lid open until I see smoke coming out and once I see smoke coming out I shut the lid and I turn it all the way to high which is 450 and then once it's uh, reached 450 
which I don't know how long it's going to take to do that. Um, I let it run at that for 45 minutes according to the instructions. I don't want a 45 minute long video or an hour video, so at this point in time I'm going to hit pause. I will see you back here in just a few. Alright, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but there's definitely smoke rolling out of this now. So I'm going to close the lid. And I'm going to crank this all the way up to the 450, the high setting. And uh, let me turn this towards the smoke stack. There's already smoke coming out of the stack there. We're going to run this for 45 minutes. The reason you do this is because a lot of the parts are packed in packing oil. And then there's other impurities and everything when they ship stuff. You burn all that off. Otherwise, when it does burn off, if you're trying to cook that smell will add a funny flavor and everything to what you're cooking so let's run this for 45 minutes and uh, i guess i'm gonna go get me a pop and a sandwich all right she's been running at 450 for 45 minutes uh, i will tell you this i started out being a little bit impressed uh, because it only took 15 minutes to get to 300 degrees. Um, it only took another 5 minutes, so a total of 20 minutes to get to 400 degrees. Um, unfortunately, it took 40 minutes total, so another 20 minutes once it was at 400 degrees to get to 450. So, some of the ideas I had on this, I don't know. I was going to kind of substitute this for my gas grill. We'll have to wait in, but as far as a smoker goes, and it getting up to 315 minutes, that's faster than I can get my offset going by the time I do my charcoal chimney and everything else. So it still's getting a good grade. I've had it run for 45 minutes after it reached the 450 mark. Um, right now it's hovering around 452, 453. I'm still kind of impressed with this little thing. I did notice when it was smoking earlier, I'll probably have to get the gasket kit to go around the lid. Some smoke was coming around the out around the lid. Um, I don't know if it took this long today because right now it's in the upper 30s, maybe 40 degrees here in Indiana. You know, it's the first week of March. Um, what do you expect? And they're and it is breezy today. So now it should I should turn it to the uh, shutdown cycle and let it cool down for 10 minutes. Uh, but I watched some YouTube videos and they said to put it on the smoke cycle for about five minutes to slow down your uh, feed of your pellets and then do the shutdown cycle. The, uh, and like I said, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and stuff. They said you could get a little bit of burn back uh, through the auger if you don't, because right now if it's on high, it's putting a ton of pellets in there. Um, Taking 15 minutes to cool it down versus 10 minutes, that's not going to hurt my feelings because I don't want my hopper to catch on fire. Alright guys, I promised you my first cook. Um, I already re-ran this back up to about 400, and it's at 445 or whatnot. I made the mistake I didn't take my top grade out so I got to put my glove on because I'm going to do my first cook on it. Set that hot thing right there out of my way. All right, my first cook is uh, actually going to be biscuits. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. I talked to Kent at uh, Daddy Dutch Barbecue, and he said that these cookers, he has a, uh, I believe it's a master build or something, uh, pellet smoker, he has a nice pellet smoker. But he said, you got to map them out. It's no different than owning a Blackstone, and I've got the infrared thermometer, um, you know, so you know your cool zones, your hot zones, and stuff like that. He said the pellet grills are the same. So he suggested that this be my first cook. So uh, what I have is some grains here. Um, I think these are the honey butter and cheddar cheese or whatnot. It's not like I'm going to eat in package instructions to cook them at 350, but I got this cranked up to high. I've had the lid open so 
long. I've already gone down to 325. I'm gonna spray my grates down. And this is just canola oil. Get everything sprayed real good. And we are gonna lay these eight biscuits. And we're gonna space them out. And that way, I will know which zones are hot and which zones are cold for when I'm cooking. Especially like to know how to rotate your ribs and all that stuff. So let's get this shut. Yeah, I dropped down right below 300 in the short time I had that lid open. But that doesn't surprise me. It's windy today. Um, heck, it's already climbed up. It's over 300 now. Well, I'll be back here in just a few minutes. Alright, I've had this going for about 15 minutes now. It's climbed all the way back up to 450. They're not burnt as bad as I thought they would be. Like I said, this is just to map everything out. The tops are not done yet, but I'm wanting to flip them just because I want to see the color. I don't want to burn them all. Those are nice golden brown. should have grabbed a pair of tongs but you know it is what it is all right oh. all right i don't know if you can see all those biscuits or not but this outer edge over here at the end of the uh, drip tray the grease catcher definitely is the hottest spot on this whole thing the second hottest is the closest right here this and this are close to the same the coolest spots are right here uh, so if i'm only cooking one thing like if i'm going to throw a pork butt on i can tell i'm going to throw it right in the middle if i'm doing two slabs of ribs on here i know this end's going to cook faster than the middle or this end so i am going to have to rotate them and stuff but Dutch at Daddy Dutch Barbecue. Check him out. He does some pellet grilling stuff. Awesome channel. Thank you for the tip on doing the biscuits right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my video today. If you did, please hit the like button on the video. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I haven't been putting regular videos out here lately, but between Mother Nature and life and everything else, it is what it is. Um, I will tell you this. As of right now, as far as this is going to be a smoker, I probably give it an A to an A minus rating. Um, that's mainly because I'll have to seal this door a little bit, um, but that's no big deal. I've had to do that on other smokers. Um, as far as using it as a grill, the 40 minutes to get up to 450, I'll have to reevaluate that once uh, spring comes, summer comes. I get in an area where there's no wind it might come up to temperature faster uh, but for what it is it's it's tiny but I th think it's gonna be perfect for me like I said you guys know what biscuits are that's eight biscuits I could probably put a total of 12 on there eh, maybe two packs 16 without overcrowd if that gives you an idea of your cooking area well, once again, thank you very much for watching my video. Y'all have a blessed day. Please leave comments, especially if you own a pellet grill. Tell me what any tips you have. If you don't own a pellet grill and you just like my video, just stop by on the comments and say, hey, loved your video, Dan. Well, I'm getting off of here. Have a wonderful day. God bless each and every one of you.